Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another fashionable undress podcast with me, Paul. Oh, and Patrick. Oops. <laughs> I'm the afterthought, I guess. Anyway, before we introduce our guest today, <laughs> I want you guys to rate, review, and subscribe, and tell everybody you know to listen, rate, review, and subscribe. Tell your dead grandmother for fuck's sake. <laughs> yes, tell her. Now let me introduce our beautiful guest today. Like we've known her for over 10 years. We love this girl. She's fun. You know her from Shaws of Sunset. She also has an awesome podcast with her husband called Till the Dirt. And they dirt. Yeah, they till that <laughs> they dirt. They dirt. Mercedes David is here. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. You guys are so much fun. <laughs> Honestly, like the best, best, We're best just, energy you know what's all crazy? We're so this all day long that yes. a lot of people wonder, what kind of medication do you really have to be on to be able to be like this? Okay, a lot of people have been talking about their medication and yes. a lot often out in public about all the various meds. So it's interesting that you say that. I personally am not on any medication. You're not? No. Okay, wait. You gotta leave. Did you do all but you gotta leave. Uh, you I haven't? Should, I should get out of here. You're in Beverly Hills. How are we not on medication? Yeah. You haven't done those? I'm not. No, I have not. Because you look not. amazing. Thank you. You look okay. beautiful. So let's stop. I mean, let's back this up to the not judging people who are on medication oh, right. because I'm not talking about the Ozempic. That's not yet. It's the, you know how you were saying, like, we're high think, on like, life. What are you guys on? We love right. yeah. living our life. Most we love time, being together. We love doing what we do. We love our friends. Yeah, yeah, most of the time, that's a thing that you just have inside of you. And you guys just have that inside of you. My husband has that inside of him. You know, like it's not just high on life and happy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, when you said like, he has you... it inside of him, I was my Thinking mind about was going somewhere else. else. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I'm my nose. Going, yeah. So really you've lost how much have... weight? Because you look great. Thirty. Thirty. You look now. amazing. Thank you. And but how you... are you? And how are you doing it? Um. Sex, so drugs, and alcohol. My... I mean, no drugs. Sex and alcohol. So, uh, no, I had to stop drinking. Actually. Oh. So yeah. my weight loss journey yep. and my fitness journey. It was first. I, I'm so intrigued. I Because all we know is uh, just shoot yourself up. Yeah, because we're on Ozempic. Yeah. Both of us are on. You are as well. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Thing, yes. I started bef losing weight before Ozempic was a thing. Okay. okay. So I lost before it Kim K even slow. did it. Yeah. Well, she did it for the Met, which is in May. So definitely yeah, yeah. she started, but like yeah. really early. But when you put a baby on this earth and you're old, you can't die. You have to stay healthy, right? Like sure. too oh, many people rely on me. Fucking babies. For I me to you. fuck, yeah. That's the <laughs> she, first thing. They just thing. ruin it for you. First, they ruin your shape to get there. <laughs> yeah. Then they want to yeah. suck the life out of you. They literally do. Did you gain a lot when you had your baby? No. When you were pregnant or no? The IVF meds that I took, that I did gain from because I did like four preps to do a transfer yeah. and then the doctor was like um no let's start over so i ended up doing another round of preparation for a transfer so i'll tell you what it was regular weight gain by being happy in a relationship mm -hmm. trauma my dad died ivf hormones it was just life like i just gradually right. i just well that's no, a lie my <laughs> wedding which part the yeah <laughs> it was my which wedding parts of the lie is the weight gain wasn't gradual because I saw, I thought it was gradual, but then I saw my wedding and my wedding was four months before my pregnancy. And I was like 20 pounds less. You looked um, great. I saw the picture. I looked pretty really good. good. Yeah, you great. did. Yeah, I looked pretty good. There. You had nice curves. Were you, had have you always struggled with your weight though, through your whole life? Yes. Or no? Oh yeah. 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 So I would never be beneath taking something that mm -hmm. will make it easier because sure. I was one of those girls that would pause life for that body. Like, all right, well maybe like next summer or when I lose weight, then I can do this. When I lose weight. You know how many clients that come into my store, they say, you know what? I'm only going to buy a polo two gown when I lose five more pounds. I'm like, bitch, I've got larger sizes. I need your yeah. cash now. <laughs> exactly. Let's go with the credit card because you ain't going to get any like, prettier. Yeah. We'll just adjust it. Or younger, well, because you're beautiful. Bitter. You've always been Thank you. so 
beautiful. Thank you. You're very Mediterranean looking. You've got a glow <laughs> on your skin. Thank you. And you have such a zest for life. Like every time we see you, thank you. You're just, you know, you're perky. And all you're my happening. life, you know, I always used to say like, if Oprah Winfrey, who are my cousins, my aunties, they would all say. If you could lose weight, then Oprah would be skinny because if Oprah, if, if there's a possible way, she would have done it. She was like, yeah. remember the day that yeah, she fit into all... her Calvin Klein jeans? I remember like that. What decade that was. Yeah. I just remember being at home. I wasn't born, so I have no idea oh, what you up. guys are yes, talking you about. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like you I were not. No I wasn't either. I must have been like in my mom's room Yeah, or something. something like that. Because oh there's no God. way we would know. What of course sell. you remember when she had the skinny jeans. and She, oh, that was, she had the Calvin Klein yes. was... No, but she lost that. I don't think she kept it off so no. we all had the meter of like if it was possible the person that will have access to everything is going to be like oprah like my mom and my aunties we all talk about it like there is no there was no ozempic back then but yeah. if there was no ozempic was back then just people they didn't just know didn't to use, use it, it for, for weight right, loss for the wrong reasons <laughs> yeah like we do um but it's not the wrong i don't reasons. think we were vain as vain as we are today i think instagram and mm -hmm. the fake apps of the, the filters, the filters have <laughs> yes. changed our Destroyed perception because, us. because yes. we want to look like that filter all day, each day. And so I know some people that walk around with that filter in front of their face. See, every time they want to look. Are we talking themselves. about Patty Stanger? <laughs> I mean, I wish. Well, it she was just wants the whole thing. Goes, oh, I look beautiful. I'm like, no, bitch. Or or Brandy Glanville. I was looking at her picture, her Instagram last week, and I was like, Brandy's what beautiful. are you doing? To but oh, I wonder amazing. if she really got something done that could have made her, everything. No, because she doesn't look like that. She's no, doing no, filters. No, she's, oh, she, she just, did. just uh, yeah. But people are getting used to using filters, and I think that's Destroying. like become very, very difficult for your mind to tell your eye what you really, really look like. Yeah, and, and it's really, funny. really strange. Do you filter your well, pictures? Well. Nah. I filter okay. the nudes. It depends. Yeah. The, the nudes so we do, I totally those filter other them. Other than Petite. <laughs> oh. Exactly. Maybe that's why I'm filtering them. Filter them for, I mean, listen, I would I would do that if I were doing Would you do OnlyFans? For Shams. I mean, sorry, my son, my husband. I would filter for my husband. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I want, I care about his opinion. Yeah. I course. want to know if you're going to do OnlyFans. Because we're about to start ours. Oh, my what God. He keeps saying that? they want to do OnlyFans. I want to do OnlyFans. I'm like, what I'm are we going to do on OnlyFans? I've got gorgeous feet. I don't believe that people are making money off their toes, by the way. <laughs> they're not? I mean, they might, but I don't think that's all they're doing. No. Oh, you, I don't you think Denise tell me Richards, that they're using their toes. Denise Richards is not doing not much to make all that money on OnlyFans. Well, I love her honesty. She did tell Jeff, our friend, yeah. that she will send very, very private parts right. to people for the right price. Right. So she doesn't. Oh, well, right. I'll, send, I'll send my big toe and my oh pinky my for the right price. Okay, do you think anybody <laughs> wants to see it? MJ, I have <laughs> gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous toes. Okay. Like he has time for OnlyFans. You used to, I, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, have an OnlyFans, but I don't think it's going to pop off. You don't before. think we're going to do that? I don't think OnlyFans is popping off. Okay, so yeah, I agree. Forget that. Yeah, forget Just that leave idea. it to forget the people. Yes. Just leave it for the sex oh, workers. You guys have too much going sex on. Sex workers? Yeah. That's I'm what's his, on OnlyFans? I'm his sex worker. Are you yeah. kidding oh me? God. Morning and <laughs> night? Exactly. You guys Speaking of sex on. working, yeah. maybe it's not sex working. Wait, have yeah. you finally given your husband a blowjob yet? Oh, my God. Because <laughs> we, I'm, I, sure he I'm gonna see show. This. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> show you how to do it. Because he'll teach you. Who, oh yeah, Paul. You, you have, have the no master idea. of job. Let yeah. me tell you. I'm I, not saying I wasn't good. I'm just oh. saying since baby, it's been a while since we have. But blow why? Jobs. Yeah. It's like I such a beautiful it. thing. It's not like I've never. No, I know, but it's dick. like listen. But just doing it, I worship his cock. You know what Thank I'm going to do? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to drop off a newborn at your house, and then I'll check back with you guys in a little while. Mm -hmm. It's not like we didn't go through that already. We've done that. We've been there, done that, moved on. Well, yeah, but I didn't do anything. Yeah, but... <laughs> so. Well... No, but you told well, me that. Let well, me tell you. Is it you really hard then to get intimate with you have, with Shams? It's hard? Um, we have sex, right. you guys. We just... I think that... Like when you want to have sex, like you just do it more like on the fly. Like you just have mm -hmm. it. Oh, it's where just you like just, uh, I just think impulsive the kind of, and spontaneous. Yeah, you're not gonna like the. Okay, okay. so we're gonna kidnap Treat. both of you. We're gonna drive to Santa Barbara. I'm gonna ditch you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And I'm gonna give you a couple of stuff, and then I'm gonna go. 
I'm gonna come back in an hour and a half and I wanna see a video. Actually, what? actually, I that was us. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Yeah. Because like we did, um, I was trying to think of it like, all right, single life, pre-baby. We turn yeah. on every single candle. Now you see a candle and you're like, oh shit, that's a fire hazard. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you turn on the lights, the candles, and the next morning the candle would be like, okay, you know. Okay, great. Bring the baby over. We'll take care of the baby. But do you guys do a date night? Have you thought of like doing started, a date night? Yeah, we started doing date Okay, because that's good. They have to date each other? What yeah, if they exactly. want to date outside the relationship? Why don't you want to go out with him? Selma Hayek is his hall pass. Oh, yeah. Oh, Who would okay. be my hall pass? Who would be yeah. your hall pass? Um, Both of us? It used to be, of course. <laughs> Ryan Felipe. Hell no. Is that Reese Witherspoon's ex? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no? Yeah. no? I want a dark guy. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, Joseph, my boxing teacher. Okay. He's boxing black, teacher. mean, and just... Fur. You mean like a dark skin, like a black guy? Well, I just, as opposed or to a, like a white a, guy. I didn't want well, to she's married you to a and white guy. Blonde. Yeah. No, I mean, he, yeah. So like when by dark, Listen, you and I, I just mean dark. We married, he, he knows. He, he comes from a double <laughs> wide in Orange County. I do not come from a double wide. He's so full of shit. He was Wait, from the rich part of County. From, I thought you were from Europe. My family is German yeah. from Hanover, and yeah. my parents came here. They dropped we, the bond. Oh, shut up. And, we, and I grew up in Orange County, You're and not in the double him. wide. I don't know where he gets this He was from. neighbors with Jeff. <laughs> Wait, oh, were you? No. no. Jesus Christ. Okay, wait. Hold on no. a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Don't get on his nerves. Wait a no. second. Wait, wait, wait. So, okay, wait. Well, only because I just he's forgot. a white boy. I always say that he's like but I, from a trailer park, but he wasn't. Oh, do you get annoyed when people think that you're from the Rocky Three guy? Like, oh, people always say that. Yeah. Oh, Dolph yeah. Lundgren. Yeah. Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. We did a show with him, actually. We, should, we did a show with we Dolph Lundgren. And, shot a show and what with country him. is he from? Sweden? Um, Norway? Something. Something. Nordic. Nordic. Something. He's Nordic. I think he's yeah, Nordic. something. Yeah. You give you give the Europe vibes. He not does. Like Everyone says that. To, and yeah. you're totally yeah. from Orange County? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm shocked, German. Too. My name is Patrick. Yeah. And it's in my birth certificate, P A T R I K. Uh -huh. And no one ever says it right. They always say Patrick. You know what my you know, you know what you know what all, all our friends know, say? Because everybody says That's Patrick. Okay. They go, So you're telling me that your mother when you were born, said, I'm going to call you Patrick, <laughs> not Patrick, yes. because it's spelled P-A-T-R-I-C-K, but because of the accent of the <laughs> German, it's Patrick, because my name is Paul, P-A-U-L, yeah. but with the European accent, it's Paul. Mm -hmm. So I write it P-O-L because my mom had an accent. My husband Cute. needs to look at my birth certificate again. It's P-A-T-R-I-K. I'm That's afraid to look at it. I even knew. Then I'm going to know way too much that I don't already know that I don't no, possibly want to know. My, all my siblings are Do you German. Do you have a birth certificate? All my are siblings you legal? are German. My, my yeah, oldest brother is a, Harvey Edward Siegfried. Thing. That's okay. German. My dad's Harvey okay. Edward Siegfried soon. Siegfried? Siegfried. No wonder they call him Siegfried and Roy. Shit! So oh, I see where it's coming this from. This is why. My brother is Yosef. Okay. My other brother's Isn't Timothy. Isn't that from the Bible, Yosef? No, it's German. Oh, my, oh my God. Gosh. Oh, Jeez. my God. I don't know. <laughs> so funny. I thought Huffbrow. Was so the now only you thing learned that this is an immigration marriage. <laughs> for exactly. Oh, my God. For citizenship. Yeah, I can't believe this shit. Oh, my God. So you married Technically, we're not married yet. Card? We're not married yet. Oh, okay. Well, We're going to get married soon. That's why well, you're still... taking all my money and the oh, immigration, geez. too. You're <laughs> all of it. To pay me. <laughs> oh, my God. No, 20 no. years we'll be together. Okay, so just a little thing. Yeah. I have no problem with taking any drug if it were For to help you lose weight or give your husband <laughs> no. a blowjob. How do we get away? We just didn't. No, I just have this thing where like I have to finish a topic if oh. it's like left over. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. We also don't we judge people for their hours. mental. <laughs> <laughs> we also don't judge people for their mental health issues. Yeah. But if you don't need drugs, don't take them because yeah. if you have it naturally, go with that. Yes. Because your liver function is going to be better. Yes. Your gallbladder is going to be better. You won't have kidney stones. I found out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I found <laughs> out that the way Ozempic works yep. is that it doesn't let you poop. 
It doesn't let you go to the bathroom. Yeah. It keeps the food in your stomach. So you don't feel hungry. Longer. Yeah. Yeah. I have food in me that's like three months ago. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That pizza that's still tastes good. But that doesn't, I happen. Yeah. that doesn't happen to me. I Everyone swear to God, I'm that. like a fucking cat. All I got to do is burp. <laughs> no. Like, oh, Everyone I, says I, that. I and I'm not getting those kind of um, symptoms. It's really weird. Yeah. I'm really not getting those symptoms. Maybe this, because your um, intestine is longer because you're taller. Maybe. It's, it's, <laughs> that's a good. It's maybe. But I've lost 30 pounds on it. In six weeks. Yeah. Six weeks? Six weeks. 30 pounds. Jesus, yeah. it took me almost a year to lose See, 30 girl, pounds. See, girl, you need my doctor. Hell no. <laughs> Listen, I've gotten injections I'm almost done. But that you look good. For you. I you don't no really even want to take it. But can we get, I don't really I want to get back to the real topic. Okay. okay. What's the real topic? Blowjob. What are we going to do about <laughs> this? Seriously, because so, I love a blowjob. I mean, like, I love to do it. I mean, we not to everybody, at, obviously, but... I mean, not to everybody? Well, I mean, for the right price, maybe I can. You know? Oh, jeez. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but you know, it's there's something to be said about huh. a man mm -hmm. who feels empowered mm -hmm. by someone wanting to do that for them. I totally there's get it. There's something, I mean... But I, it's reciprocal. He should... That's be right. taking care yeah. of you too. We're, you should so, lay on your back sometimes, girl. We don't put on those Louboutins and make them work for you. They're not just for walking, <laughs> honey. You got to. They're use definitely them. not for walking. They're not. They're definitely they're not. Definitely for walking. Not. They're for maybe sitting and standing, yeah. and crossing yeah. your legs. Um, so let's be really crystal clear. Yeah, we have the best sex of anybody that we know. Things change yeah. when you get oh. married. When you live your life having all the SEX. I know your YouTube subscribers, um, your, <laughs> the brand of YouTube doesn't let cuss right. words on the show, so. Oh fuck, then we can't say the F word? Nope. You F say it all the time. No, FCK. You're gonna have to. Oh, okay. And they actually, I think they don't like bleeps either. Anyway, <laughs> when you live. Bleep you, I'll, I'll bleep for you when you okay. talk, when you say it. Just say it, I'll bleep. Okay, when you live your life having such good sex bleep. and having <laughs> 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 and having so many amazing experiences like my husband and I have, yep. like having a little like priority on a child is a good thing. Like we don't see no, it I as get, a problem. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I get all of are you that. Gonna, are you going to have more kids? I don't know. Don't say anything because I'm... I, you can just, well, but I'll, do you want to have more kids? Um, I do. <laughs> I'm going to read your cup. I don't know. There's a Should lot of... Should we take a sip? <laughs> Take a sip. Yes. I've okay. been taking sips. You I need hope to take I a don't sip. get, you know what? Okay, speaking of sex, where's the most unique place you and Tommy have ever had sex? Uh, the trails in Malibu. Really? Oh, we go walking there. Jesus. <laughs> is, that, is that where I saw Is that to the waterfall? The waterfall. Yeah. Oh my but god. But like early in the no, morning. No, it's not going to be the same late for me. <laughs> Jesus. That's what I mean. I like you don't, like I get, I love having friends that like are invested in your life. Like yeah. you got to do this more. Cause like when we were hanging out at um, Monica's, Monica's house mm -hmm. and you guys were talking about your afternoon delights, yep. I was like, it's so hot. Like it's healthy, <laughs> it but is. I, I don't know say, how the fuck did this know, even come you know up what, on what show? Oops. You know what Jeff says, right? <laughs> Paul what? never says no. He doesn't. I never say no to sex to him. No, he doesn't. Ever. Good. I don't care what we're doing. I don't care what is going Wait, on. Wait, between the two of you, do one of you initiate more than the other? No, I think it's the same. Mutual? Probably. Yeah. You wouldn't say me more a little more? Sounds Not like really, it. but I couldn't be more because I'm always you're corny. Always I'm, you're always, <laughs> always ready. up for sex. So, yeah, I, um, but true. I never yeah. say no. Never say like, no. Like, just never say yeah. no. I because I don't, don't see think... a reason why I should deprive him of anything that I'm there to be able to do for him regardless of what the day's been like. Because if he wants food, I get it for him, right? <laughs> yeah, you're very nurturing to each other. He, so maybe that's very nurturing, yeah, absolutely. I Only because I, I love that dick, let me tell you. I just, <laughs> <laughs> like all the time, I'm like, Jesus. I shouldn't say that, I'm blushing. You just did, what? I'm sorry. You're I'm good. blushing. We're all adults. Oh my God. We're all God. adults. I think it's good to um, make the part, the most important thing for me is to make my husband feel loved like his love language is yeah bringing him his favorite drink that he doesn't ask for filling up his water oh hydro God, flask so simple i love that it's a it's a love language it's a thing sure to make sure that when you're not there you are thinking of him so if i come home like today when i come home after this if i get one little thing for him or do something for him like 
those things like because his mom died when he was 12 right uh, so mm-hmm. that's what if you can make the man feel the love that he literally did not get so we're not going to call it his mommy one. syndrome oh no it's not. He just loves the. the what fact what that does he wear that turns you on? Like what would he put on that you would just oh walk out? Oh that's a good one. Power this yeah. Man. Oh, like <laughs> I used to. Wait, I want to talk about Shaun of Sunset for a second. Hurry up. Wait, sure. Let me, let's finish this. Oh yeah, yeah, like I'm attracted to him. Like no matter what he does, unless he's doing like really disgusting things. Like I like it when he gets dressed up a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Like that's cute. Yeah, that is cute. I like him out of the towel. Like today I saw him like when I was leaving, he was just in a towel. Yep. And that's cute. Like when you're watching them shave and the steam is still coming out of the shower. Ooh. You know? So only fans. <laughs> <laughs> maybe See, that's what you're going to you, do. It sounds like, it you, sounds know, like you are with Tommy, like me with him. Us, yeah. Like we fall in love with each other all over every day, all yeah. the time. Just the little things he does. Yes. When it's I'm taking always... a shower, I yeah. hate that he comes into the yeah, bathroom. I do too. I because feel so every time violated. He opens, no, no, no. <laughs> every time he opens that door, a gush of cold wind in our shower Comes. doesn't have any doors. It's all open. Uh-huh. So Because he leaves the fucking window open. So, so <laughs> yeah. every time he opens a door, a gush of wind comes in. And I'm like, oh, I just got nice and warm and yeah. toasty. I guess, yeah. I guess I'm not getting and in then, the shower. <laughs> and then, oh, that's and why. Then, and then he does it again, and then he does it again. <laughs> and I appreciate that thing. about him because he just wants to see my hot, sexy, naked body. Yes. Do. Well, do you know my what husband, I mean? Yeah, my husband likes to s- startle me in the shower. So it's like very cute. Like what we have is very um, romantic, yeah. and he's very romantic, and he likes to do those things to, for me. So then that's why I learned to do uh. them for him because it's like, for instance, when he would, one of the cutest things was um, like giving you a kiss while you, he thinks you're asleep. And he like goes to the gym before, yeah. while I'm still sleeping. Like this is a little. This things. one talks to me while I'm still sleeping, and that's wants, wants an answer. That's one of the things I think. <laughs> he just so he romantic. has a whole conversation with me, and then when I, when I'm yes, like, yes, I do. By by then I'm like, and I give him the answer. Yeah. Sadly enough, I know when he started the conversation, <laughs> yeah. and I'm yeah. totally knocked out. It could be two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Huh. And I give him the answer, and I turn <laughs> and I go, "You realize I'm sleeping, right?" He's like. Oh, I, I, I got the answer. So wow. I'm good. That's a sixth sense. It's yeah, weird. it is. That's he very talks weird. to me. We're, we're very connected. Has an entire we're very, with very clearly. connected. Clearly. And I feel obligated to have to answer. I, I don't know how not to answer and ignore him. No, <laughs> nor should you. I can't. I'm, you can't. Like, I'm going to give him the answer. Because otherwise he it. just keeps talking for another fucking hour. <laughs> 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 I might as well shut true. his ass up. That is amazing. That is, I know. But it's just, I love him. I do. I love him. There's, I mean, he has been there with me through so many good things, so many bad things, so mm-hmm. many sad things. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I lost my mother and my sister last year, this man was there by my side. And you, yeah. you know what it's like when you lost How your dad. Yeah, yeah, and the way that he was, the way that he was holding you up when you had gone through that, like that was the most amazing thing. I'm sure no matter how much you guys have been and how long you guys have been together, the way that you guys were talking about it because you've told me about it. And yeah. It was very, very inspiring, like that kind of love. Because like a lot of people don't know what to do around someone during grief unless you're so close that you can like get in there and like he really like yes. pick you up. 100%. Yeah. Because I didn't want to get out of bed. I was just like, I'm done. This is this Yeah, is tough. game over. It's a wrap. I needed him to get up and make me some money <laughs> yeah. so I can go spend it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I needed his ass. <laughs> Pronto. Out. Move in. <laughs> So, so is there going to be another Shaws of Sunset or is it done? Bravo has to decide. Wait, didn't you guys tape? You, you guys taped something, taped. right? We did a Take pilot. another step. I need to know. <laughs> okay, so you taped a pilot. You taped another pilot? We shot a pilot. Okay. And that's What's all What's it about? We Real estate? Um, it's about like kids, married life. Um, Reza is obviously not ki- like no kids, but right. like being like a gunkle. Um Golnessa, you know, and her baby. Like, it's just about. Are you good with her now? Yeah. Okay. Is yeah. it all it's the cast from before? No, no, it was not. You guys really haven't heard about the details, or are we just pretending like. No, no I really haven't heard oh, the details. Okay. Mike's not in it, right? No, unfortunately. Mm. But you never know. Like, yeah. between shooting the pilot and seeing what lands on TV, and maybe it will be that. Maybe What's it, it called? will be. Oh, I can't say. No. 
They gave us a name, oh, they but did. I would be shot. Like I would be dragged. To but the how long ago you shot it last year, right? Mm -hmm. And then they still haven't made a decision if they're green lighting it. Yeah. So kind of like move on with your life and just live. Sell the life. houses, bitch. Right. Sell them houses. Yes. How about go, why don't you go on? Why don't you go on? Oh, uh, selling Mauricio's sunsets or selling sunsets. Because aren't you working for Mauricio's agency now? Yeah. You know, we were taking care of Mauricio's uh, God babies. Yeah. I might have drank too much of it. Oh, you can. Never I think drink I too left. Much. I think I, I took too much. No, no you're you fine. didn't. It's not going to give me a thing. Yeah, well, no, take a sip. I'm going to show you what to do. Yep. Take a little sip right there. Just a, yeah, 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 take a take a little sip. Put those luscious lips right on there. Okay. <laughs> but not too much. I want to make sure I have a fortune or whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, you're good. A fall. <gasps> That's it? Hey, yeah, you're totally good. Yeah. Yep. So now we'll leave it sip. there. Go ahead. Oh, my God. So, uh, selling sunset. Yeah. Buying Beverly selling, Hills, you mean? Well, well selling sunset. I guess buying his Beverly show is Hills, buying Beverly Hills. Hills right? yeah, yeah, selling sunset yeah. is not Mauricio. No, it's, it's not. Netflix. They're both yeah, yeah. Netflix. They're no, both but Netflix. I think you'd be good on selling sunset. Yeah, I mean, I you can sell anything, honey. <laughs> sunset, <laughs> Wilshire <laughs> Boulevard, Rodeo Drive, From, Calabasas. Yeah, same, sell it all. Same producers. The first thing I said to him when you As when Shaw's. you were um, when you announced you were going to Mauricio's the agency, I'm like. What? Is she going on buying Beverly Hills? Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Why well, not? it's funny because Shaws of Sunset producers went and called it Selling Sunset. So yep. you can see like it's all kind of related, buying Beverly Hills. So we shall see. But let me tell you, when you do TV for 10 years, you give so much, if not all of yourself, to a television show. Sure. And again, when you have done it, then you want to know what else you can do. And I want to make sure that my life has a meaning. Yeah. Well, and being creating entertainment television for reality TV can only be a slice of the pie. It cannot be my whole thing. Well, I mean, that's true, though. That's so true. And you a lot can of always people sleep get, with... But a lot of people get caught up in the reality TV as their life, mm -hmm. and they don't really do anything well, you except can, for you, you, that. You, you could sleep Especially with when you love your life yeah. prior to the cameras, because you already had a life. I have an education, a career, right. family, friends. I never needed anything from the show. All I got from the show was connecting with women and that audience, connecting with my gay community con right. connecting with people who had struggles with their moms and their dads and their aunts and their grandparents because of the tumultuous relationship with my mom you know so yeah. or people grieving because they lost you know their dog like l everything that i did the fertility journey spreading mm -hmm. my legs before i knew if i had a egg left in me well, or not right you know <laughs> everything that... well and it's a heyday wasn't it it, it was shots of sunset and vanderpump rules were like the two right yeah. number one shows were, on Bravo. everybody was fucking everybody I mean, like, <laughs> yeah seriously. we should have Vander... done some more of that but on not us. on your show Just it wasn't Vander... really like Vander... that on your show That's vanderpump right. everybody was screwing everybody i know apparently tom sandoval seen everybody's vagina and the other <laughs> one has seen everybody's I, I don't know it's like ridiculous pardon the pun but it sucks well, yeah. they did a lot of sucking. We were They're in Cancun. Gonna, yeah. Let me tell you, there was a lot of sucking going on. Um, you know I mean, that Sheena's Tommy dressed? and I, that's right, because Tommy and I, we didn't go because I can't remember if we couldn't. Why did chance. you go? We could have partied. Oh my God, it was crazy. I think we had it, so much fun. I'll tell you exactly why. When they're filming, they're doing a job. So if the cameras are there, then I can't interact because they're working yeah well, so, well right. yeah we talked to sheena here and Sorry. there Sorry. we didn't really care about her <laughs> you were like <laughs> you were just there for Cabo. No, sorry, Cancun. Cancun. Yeah. No, you did our wedding gown. Oh my gosh. We were with them the whole no, time. No, like you guys. She was such a gracious. She made yeah. sure that she was with her guests the whole time, yeah. and the cameras mm -hmm. were a secondary feature. That's and great. She, and I loved that. But I had no idea. Yeah. I saw Raquel and Tom together. I didn't know it was Tom. What do you think about Sandoval? All I thought it was Tom bags. Schwartz because uh. I never could tell them apart. I saw them together and Stop. I came back and told them. I swear to God, Stop. we had no I go, idea. I think I just saw Tom and Raquel together. But downstairs. we didn't know which Tom it was because they all looked the same to me. <laughs> and they were already point. separated, the other shirt. Yeah. 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 Yep. And I had no idea. So I guess we saw them together at the wedding. Wait, yeah, I they definitely know. hooked up. I want to know what ha what would you think happened on your show that you would have done different? Oh, um, yeah. do you know what I mean? I would have insisted that my 
life was shown, my whole life was shown more because I think that people forget that I was. They only showed one aspect of your life or one portion? First half of the whole series was more real to me. Mm -hmm. Last few years, it turned into more of like. Um, Creating a storyline. Toxic drama. Uh -huh. Because that's what they think people want to see. Yeah. That, drama. Yes. That's what I think that they started to do across the board. All the comedy was cut out. In Bravo was known for that, basically. Right, right. And not to say that, like, we don't appreciate Bravo. Of course we do, right? Sure. But it's like the going in and just showing so much that you need to see more. Like, I need more than that for me to want to participate yeah. in reality. Like, what do you think I Bravo did for so didn't long? show of your life that you would have wanted them to show? A lot of us cast, like... Reza and, and specifically Reza and I, mm -hmm. we would always be like, that was so funny. Why did they cut it out? Like, yeah. we just did so much more funny stuff. Right. You know, like when um, Intimate Jessica Simpson. That you shared. Yeah, like the Jessica like the Simpson t is tuna, the yeah. fish of the yeah. sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there was all of that. Like, just let the camera roll and be silly. Like, when Jeff, our friend Jeff, would mm -hmm. say, like, I want my iced tea with like 15% lemonade and like 10% right. Sprite. Like all of these little cute things is yeah, what, right those are like what it used to be in the beginning. Yeah. And then it ended a little bit too toxic. You know what's Like funny? mix in some fun. I think that Bravo right kind of that. felt like at one point that they just need to have everybody fighting with each other on camera, off camera, showing all this drama, mm -hmm. showing all this. And they really didn't care if the relationships are going to get back together or not, they're just getting great TV by everyone fighting and at each other's right. throats. I mean, trust me, they did not cause the problem. Like, we caused the drama. Yeah. All they just captured our, it. Yeah, they captured it. But, like, again, when you're a person that's got, like, this much life in you, you don't want to see, like, a lot of the people, like, look at Jersey, look at Potomac, look they all thrive on, uh, not the individuals, right. the shows, mm -hmm. they thrive on these moments. Moments, Yeah, like right. the craziest moments. I used to moments. see Reza park the car across the street and go to the real estate office. <laughs> tell me yeah, which I've one. been here for almost 30 years. Yeah, yeah, tell me which one. Which office is across the street? Right, Coldwell um, Banker. Coldwell Banker, right? Oh, the real estate office. And then he used to have Banker. a black No, I think he just was BMW. going in to be with agents or yeah. something. Oh, nice. Yeah. He used to go over there. Yeah. Yeah. And Mike, I used to see before mm -hmm. because one of his his best he was best man to one of my clients okay and uh friends weddings oh nice so he used to yeah. come in with his buddies all the time nice so you know yeah it's like, our stomping it was a grounds. Shit show. yeah so it was <laughs> so fun right it was really interesting and then i got to see him you know on camera yes and so i was like oh that's the same one same same guy same same guy yeah it was really he's so swaggy yeah Mikey is just full of swag. He just, all he had to ever do is just, you know. <laughs> and he was completely acquitted. Not even his, the case against him was dropped. Yeah. So he got a bum deal. Dis no, so it's just, he, it's just sad. The publicity yeah. Yeah. catches just the makes bad you, stuff. Makes, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is the part of the show where we do a runway rundown. Oh, you're going to love that. We're going to basically show you some looks of you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The good, the bad, and the ugly. No, what I call it, what the fuck were you thinking? He and says we're going to give you our opinions and get your opinion. Oh, my God. So shouldn't you give my opinion first then? No. <laughs> no. No, I'm going to describe you the look first. Oh, and I have so to guess? Then, and then you're going to guess which one it is, and then we'll show it to you. Oh, and God. Then so you tell us. this was at Watch What Happens Live. Oh, God. You're on the red carpet. Okay. I think with your man. Uh oh. Man. Oh, is it the That's pink dress? Oh. And it looks you're like wear okay. So you're wearing, wearing a halter lampshade. You're wearing a halter. <laughs> it's got sleeves. Oh, it's the pink one. It's it's a blush color. It's that was very a, short. It's what the fuck are you wearing? You're wearing Balmain. It is. Yeah. You're also wearing a neckline. It is Balmain. Yeah. Okay, so. All the tassels that are hanging down your boobs, yeah. the tassels that are going around your waistline. That was around. a little small. The, I don't like the dress. way it fit you. Maybe it that's what it is. I think it's not. Yeah. I, I think it was a great idea when the designer started to create this. But maybe <laughs> if he was there to do the fitting with you, he would have been able to do make major adjustments to be able to make it fit for your proportions. 
I but wish even your expression you look in the even drunk, your expression is like uncomfortable. Am I this? Yes. Drunk, so so I'm gonna say what the fuck were you thinking, Balmain? You were uncomfortable, otherwise. right? Well, first of all, the dress is tight for t- the titties. Okay. So that's one thing. So you so couldn't I, even breathe. Yeah, and <laughs> and I'm trashed. Drunk. Oh well, of course. And yeah, the dress is a little tight. And that is not an angle for any woman to stand in. No. But would not. you wear this dress today? I would love to see what it looked like on me today. Do you have it? No. <laughs> Those bitches took it back? No, I bought the dress. You bought the but dress? But you don't have a dress anymore. I think You actually spent money buying this this think, dress? But I think that I sold it on oh. the real real. I think Good I Good job. Thank God you got rid of it because this is the one that you were never gonna pass down to no, anybody. No, but Rihanna wore it. Um Kylie Jenner wore it. Really? Yeah. It was, I think maybe we that call dress this was a size too small. Maybe we maybe should. that's what it is, because it, no, it's should. not even covering your ass. Don't you think that no, big titties, don't you think that big titties ruined fashion? No, I think. No, I don't think so. I think the shape Unless of the have, dress like, was not appropriate for your body. Yeah, you need and to have. You're such a beautiful, beautiful, voluptuous. <laughs> Listen, Anna Nicole was my best friend. Oh, yeah. I dressed she was Anna pretty, Nicole but she when was she was skinny, skinny and tall. And fat, she too. He dressed her skinny and, and fat. fat. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. she did, when I did the cover of her... Uh, Hydroxy cut? No, it was Trim Spa. I did the cover Trim of her DVD. video. The DVD release. The and release. she was mm. full. And I did Marilyn yeah. Monroe. Mm. And the gown that I made for her was stunning. Yeah. It, almost like very much like your bridal dress where showed your curves right it was very conscious of your body but i feel like the proportions on this i think you bought it because it was a beautiful brand to be a part associated with yeah but i don't think it was suited for your body but you know what i will say i do like the color on you you know what i, I will do say like the color on you i wish let's say what we want but thank god it's at the real real <laughs> I think it was yeah several years ago i i blame the i blame the, the photographers no there's never been a stylist really Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I blame the photographer because first of all, I love to blame other people for my mistakes. <laughs> Second of okay. all, why shouldn't you? He should have been like, um, stand the other way. Yeah. Right? Like, let's try some. That's else. why I never take pictures sideways. I only stand. I, I, I mean, and, and stop being straight on, right? Straight on. I think that's the best feature that any of us have and you can see too on the shoulder it's really tight on the shoulder so yeah. i think it yeah. is too small it's for you but small. it doesn't do your boobs justice at all right the, the shape it makes you look boxy and square yeah. boxy I don't like think a pillowcase yeah. yes yeah it doesn't give you the contours and the voluptuousness that you are because you've got beautiful curves mm-hmm. and i wish you were able to showcase more of those curves like your yeah. v neckline your cleavage and having yeah. everything kind of, kind of coming down the center Especially would look so much more pretty because when you want to wear like me i'm someone that if i want to wear something yeah i'm gonna see the dress on somebody else and i'm gonna be like i want that it takes a while for me anyway Mm -hmm. to be like you might wish that you could wear that dress but that dress doesn't like you don't worry we're gonna go shopping together and i'm gonna tell you which dress is (laughs) gonna like but your makeup looks good i gotta say your makeup looks good doesn't matter but but listen there's a lot of people that are sized two and still don't know how to wear things no, it's I'm not saying about like I, I beautiful. It I wasn't what forcing. Size. I was I was forcing that. You oh, know, I see. I don't force anymore. Okay. Yeah. You know, because like I well, think you have more confidence in yourself in the way that you just wear. This is before you, you had shams or after? Oh God, way before. Way before. Way okay. before. But this is here, when she was sucking dick. Oh, that was blowjob. <laughs> he probably got a blowjob <laughs> that <laughs> night. I bet. Oh my yeah. God! Keep the dress. <laughs> Bring the dress back. I'm gonna go hunting it oh, down for I you. I'm gonna go find dress. it. Show us so, the next Okay, one. I'm gonna show oh, you another I, one. I, by the way, I got that dress in black as well. You did? Uh huh. Oh. Just. Wow. I think it's just the shape. The, the I like the, the color. I just don't like the fit. The fit uh, and the style. And um. And the fringe. And the fringe. Well, <laughs> There's nothing left. Sorry, to Balmain. <laughs> but um. But I think that when wait you're... is Balmain even a thing anymore? It's yeah. embarrassing to even say you're affiliated with it. Well, I know that's Balenciaga. That's Balenciaga. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, yeah. I get all of them confused oh, yeah. now. Oh, my God. Okay, show me the other one. This one. <laughs> yes. Now, I found this one. Tell me the next one. This I better think this be... is from a photo shoot. Ooh. And you look... Only fans! <laughs> you look so freaking hot in this picture. You're wearing a black 
bathing suit. Your ass looks amazing. It looks okay, like you have a BBL. Photo shoot. Um, oh, see? Yes. This is Mercedes. Yeah. You're wearing a beautiful low cut back, high cut side black bathing suit with the little uh, it has to vents be, in the front with the black and white. It has to be Your the hair is Hervé flowing Leger bathing with suit. the curves. Yeah, it, I think it is. It probably is, is an Hervé Leger because it's got the little panels in the front. Looks like you're at the edge of a building or something. Yeah, yeah. Your heels, I I know it. like this I mean, is I don't a, have a fuckable moment. Up. This is Let's hot. see it. Look at you. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's an... Uh, now this I, is, I'm gonna eat you out what, kind of a thing. Where is this that photo? is like hot. I don't know, it's pretty hot. Though, Look right? at the wind blowing it's on in the top your of hair. Look at those Rooftop. lips. Do you remember Mercedes? This is you. Can you text me that picture? I will. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get this blown up and I'm gonna right put there. it in the back of I will. I'm gonna put it in the back of your uh, What am I gonna do with that? Maybe I should frame that Father's Day is coming around the corner. No, I put it in the headboard. That's a hot that's look. a headboard photo. Yeah. Like where the fuck But you look like this. See, this is you to me. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is you. Well, the other one also, like, I just drank so much that night. So there was a lot happening in that mm -hmm. pink dress, in the eyes. And how long ago was this taken? You didn't have anything This is more drink? recent, no? No, seven. Oh, really? Oh, no drinking on that day. No drinking on this drinking day. Drinking on Watch What Happens But look Live. at your body. Yeah, your yeah. Body proportions. Yeah, it's I say go back with the Hervé Leger looks. Yeah. Because they've, because look at your ass. Yeah. That's like a BBL thank everybody God, wants to thank have. Thank God I have that photo. That's beautiful. I'll send it to you. It's yeah. Nice. Hit that shirt. Even, uh, okay, so you had a stylist on this photo shoot because no. the, you didn't, well, the way you styled the cufflinks that match the that way the my shoes assistant. are with, see, yeah. somebody wow. did it because the details yeah. on the shoes, the yeah, heel, the and then how they look like they're working with the cuffs yeah. is Was it is Brandon beautiful. was doing your hair, right? No. No? No. Your hair looks amazing. Thank you. It looks so hot. It was a wig. Your boobs. It was? Looks, yeah. Oh my God. Pretty sure. Wow. I mean, I never had a hair that long and thick. Really? No, this looks yeah. like your hair. Are you sure? Thank you. It looks yeah. good. Thank you. Yeah, that's a hot picture. That's a hot picture. See? Well, thank God we got one out of Well, with this one picture, you don't have knows. to do any more blowjobs. You see, you <laughs> just put it up there and lay on your back with your little baton. <laughs> You're like, I'm good to go. She's got the hooker heels and everything. Yeah, yeah those, those shoes are, are good. Shoes. That's hot. The yeah. things see, and it's you do. Not, it's not your body. It's the curves and the proportions. I want to know what I was... I people should learn about their proportions. But I also feel you look... Like you knew you looked fucking good in this picture. Yeah, the you could see the attitude. The, and the confidence. yeah, the eyes were good. Yeah, uh, but I don't know what drove me to do that photo shoot because I did that photo shoot. Oh, oh, so it was just a uh, off the cuff. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, wow. like what made Must you have go been a do good a night. photo shoot the I night wonder... before? Yeah, they like, probably rolled into that same photo shoot and you didn't you just missed it. You no, didn't even know it, it was happening. It was a photo shoot and I'm like, wow. why would I do that photo shoot? I can't remember. I don't know. It was good. But I wanted to say, like people like Kim K, you've heard her say on her show with yeah. her sisters, you have to see yourself on the carpet when people take photos of you and you're so horrified by the photos that you see on wire image that you then <laughs> go back and you want to put good images out. Right. When I get horrified by the photos that I see of myself, I'm like, fuck, I just need to like try again or like take pictures before you leave the house because that's always going to tell you the stuff but that I'll you don't see. But I'll tell you see. the one thing that I've always taught a lot of people for them to be able to understand. Mm -hmm. It takes five seconds for your pupils to dilate for you to be able to really see your proportions. Oh, Everybody God. should always stand in front of the mirror and do a trick where you're able to look at the mirror, look mm -hmm. at yourself, mm -hmm. close your eyes, count to five, open your eyes, do it three times. And at that point on the third one, you're able to really see your true proportions and yourself. At the third one? The third one. Because the first one, yeah. I gotta you're do focused that. on your clothes. Great advice, right? The second I gotta one, try. you're yeah. only looking at particular yeah. inhibitions it works. that you have that it. you're yeah. not, you're concerned about. Because you're thinking to yourself, oh, uh, is that collar standing up the way it's supposed to? Is my boob? you know like yeah what's going on with that one spot and then exactly. the third one is when you see the entire look and you see yourself in the look not just mm -hmm. aspects and a lot of us just naturally we wear clothes because we're either trying to conceal something hide something or Project showcase an something. image yes right right and your focus becomes that so that dress is only highlighting one particular aspect of what you're trying to see. 
But on the third one, when you close your eyes and open your eyes, you will you're going to be able to do an entire assessment of your entire and that body. takes a lot of courage because my girlfriends will say yeah what are you going to wear um i think i'm going to wear boom right send me a picture i'm like oh, no I don't want to. it's going to tell me the truth and i don't want to see it so yeah. you got to really be invested look at me sitting here with people who dress people for carpets mm -hmm. and i'm like yeah i hate doing it because <laughs> i know it's not going to be what I want it to be. Well, I'll but tell I'm you still vain and I want to look but good. But the fact you do it even without a stylist, I didn't know that. I thought you had a stylist. No, never. Well, she's got good style because she yeah. knows herself. Well, yeah. look, I have- Except for that. Except for the pink. No, I mean, <laughs> look, it's, it's, it's something I also, if like you said, what could you go back and do? I would have loved to spend more time with like planning and laying out wardrobes the way that like mm -hmm. Courtney K would make fun of her sister to have like nine stylists to put her in like yes. a workout fit. Yep. Uh, we all want that. Sure. But I also have so much more responsibility. Like I know, I but I'm available. See... You, I, you know, <laughs> people sweet. like me. Hello. Yeah. I could do it for you online. Hello, mm -hmm. zip, zip. Do you right, dress right, Tommy left, left. too or no? Or did he pick his own clothes out? He won't. He'll, he'll let me help, but he won't let me like be like, you're wearing this. If I go in his closet, he will. Like in the beginning when we were like first dating and I would be like, can I, like, would you wear that? And he was like, I don't do penguins. Uh, okay, do you do <laughs> seagulls? I'll do the seagull. You know, so yeah. like he has say. What if he told you the same thing? I'm would into you... it. Always tells me. Oh, so you Always listen to me. him. I go into his office before I leave the house. Yep. Like today I tied this in a knot, but only reason I tied it in a knot is because it's oversized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if I tuck it in, God knows what's going to happen, right? But it's so cute. So I'd be like, I'd be like, does this look okay? And what da da? And he'll he'll just say like what he thinks. Most of the time, I will go back if he doesn't like something. He'll tell me like everything but that belt. Oh. And I'm like oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm like all right, you fat bald, God knows what, whatever guy. And it's really interesting to see how people should really invest in learning their body. That's right. Every yeah. seven years, your body shifts as well. Oof. And when. Or what six weeks see? if you're on Ozempic. That's amazing. <laughs> 30? Yeah. At least you did get Ozempic. He needs, face to, he needs to lose at least another 10 pounds before my new model comes in. Because uh, you're going to replace him? Oh, God, yeah. You don't need to lose I can't do the shots. When he does the shots for me, though. I can't do them. It's fine. Why are you, you 30, 10 more pounds? Yeah, 10 more. Come then I'll be on. good. Then I'll be good. What, no, you want? we like to eat. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know how. Because we're going to start shooting season five. So we want to be skinny you know, the, the, you for know, camera. The camera adds weight on you. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Does it? Oh, I don't God, care. Yes. It does. Can we play a game? Oh, oh, yeah. We got a game. Yeah. Now that we're over, we're runway rundown. But I before we start the game. game, I just want to remind our audience to rate, review, subscribe, bitches. Go wake up that dead grandmother and go ahead and sign up on their goddamn, <laughs> you know, iPhone. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus. What he said. <laughs> yeah. You're using their social security number. You might as well, you know, you got the iPhone, their name. You oh might God. as well have them subscribe. You're cashing their checks. You're cashing exactly. their checks. And the now rate, review, know. subscribe. And turn on your notifications. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to play. My version is the fashion version. Because okay. my version is the right version. Okay. My version is the good version. Okay. And my version is the best version. Okay. Got it. It's called Oat or Note. Actually, it's called marry or nary. No, it's not. It is. It's marry or nary. Marry or nary? That means mean, you would like, marry the person or you would not marry the person. You know what? Marry. This, is, this is when I know See? exactly Cute. the She trailer. likes it. This is where I know you came from, the trailer park. Oat or goat? Oat or not. Oat couture. Or Hello? Goat. Oh. Uh, Miss Balmain, you spend that much money and then you don't even know <laughs> the fucking oat? What's the note? As not. in no? Oh, yeah. And I like nary. Mary or Mary? I like his better. I'm sorry. Okay, you know Thank what? Thank you. Uh, you can get a single next to his double white because you guys are about to park it next door. <laughs> That's what you're going to fucking do. Oh, my God. So okay. the game is we're going to ask you, we're going to tell you an item that if this, if your man was wearing it, because it's oat or not, <laughs> we're going to tell you, Mary or Mary, we're going like to give this. you scenarios and we want you, you want, we want you to be able to identify whether it's yes or no. So oat is yes or not. <laughs> or you can say Mary or Mary. Fuck the Mary Mary. <laughs> Jesus. Or you can say both. 
<laughs> You're not going to get. Bitch, anymore. go ahead and do yours first. You know what? I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull an MJ, and I'm not going to give you no BJ. Oh, That's what's going to happen. Shit. Blow job. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. MJ. He's not Wait. Why did you change your name from MJ to Mercedes? Now I want to know. Well, that. she's a Merce- she's Well, a no. My first and last name is MJ. Yeah. So you still go by MJ? No. Oh yes. You do. Yeah, of course. Yes. Oh. But she's Mercedes. It's the fun. story. The story is like this. Yeah. There's a story. When I was yes. Oh. Okay. When I started working. Everyone was like, MJ, so cute. Because it's easier. So quick. Yeah. And it's not about you. It's about your clients. So, oops. Oh. <laughs> it's not know. like. Did you spike the coffee? No. You're okay. not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it Like saying when, when my boss who hired me, my mentor at Sotheby's, he was like, you know what? MJ, because you're in a service industry where you were there for that. Oh, shut up. Let her talk. Go ahead. <laughs> and then. I was like, I like it because I have a very exotic, complicated name. Is it Persian? Is it Latin? Is it Latin? Is it Persian? What is it? Is it Meredith? People would mispronounce it so, so much. And I was like, it's not about me. Let me just simplify it. And people catch the MJ. Even when I introduce myself as Mercedes, Mercedes Javid, now MJ. I'm like, all right, whatever. It's all good. I like it. Okay, so. Mary or Nary, let's go. Oats or not. (laughs) Flannel pants. Not. See, she's got the game. Oh. Of course. You don't like flannel. I mean, not right now. No. Okay. no. It, it sounds like PJs. No. Yeah. I got no. one for you. Your man is uncut. Oh, that was mine. Shit. Bitch, you took the other one. I can't believe you. A lot of people like them. I'm good with circumcised dicks. Ooh. Sorry for anyone in so this room. That would be Mary. That would be Mary. Uncut. No. No, uncut. Uncircum- no. She doesn't is like Mary. uncut. Correct. She likes the cut. Mary. She like that big, I do not full want. Mushroom. I don't want foreskin. No, thank you. I agree. Yeah, bro. <laughs> no, I agree. <laughs> I can't do the foreskin. It's always it's a little dirty little extra. And they don't clean it. Oh Even if God. it was. Oh my clean. God! This is like too much. <laughs> you know, it's not too late for either of you to get a circumcision. We I'm already circumcised. We're, we're I'm German. Of course, Praise I'm circumcised. Praise the Lord. We're, we're fine. That was the that was the <laughs> best I'm thing that the German German nationality <laughs> provided <laughs> for me. Okay, bitch, do yours. And trust me, the uncircumcised <laughs> guys. I think they think they have extra They're inches, wrong. and I'm like, no, you don't. This no. one's packing. Yeah. So no, trust me, I want to see all of it. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry that people think that. Yeah, they They're think wrong. that they have extra, and I'm like, uh, no. no, 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 no. No, it's no. not extra. It's just extra in the wrong thing. Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so, out or not, jockstrap. Mary Mary. I love a jockstrap. See. So she's Mary. No, she's an oat. Mary. Oh God, it was it's my question. Mary. It's a Mary. It's a Mary. Oh, thank Mary. you. It's a Mary. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I would want my junk to be supported, just like a boob. Yeah. Like just like your boobs. And it's hot. And it's hot. Yeah, it's sexy. Yeah. If you went home today and he was wearing a jock strap. I would suck his dick for ah! you. Lock think about you the whole yeah. bedroom, turn on the parental Controls. radio and yes. control and just put on just and put suck on, that dick. I love just it. Just put on hard. a little video for him. He won't even know what's happening. I mean, how long could he last? Three seconds? Eight seconds? Oh, I mean, yeah. He'll be done. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but it's, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Huh. Leather Maybe jacket, tonight. Mary or Nary? Leather, for sure. Always Mary. Oh. Of course. Nice. Okay, so. Oh. How about, you, how about men painting their nails? Is I'm that into it. Or not? Are Except you? for Sandoval. He does paint his nails. Yeah, he does. Yes. Are you sure? Did those two send, did the, the Tom and Tom get together with each other? No. Are you sure? Tom and Tom? I think no. Tom and Tom got together. No. I don't think so. Well, doesn't it seem? They're so straight. Every time we see them, they're always like, I know, so but they, they've had sex with everybody. I don't think Doesn't Schwartz... that then mean that they've fucked each other? Oh. No. Not really? No. I guess not. Okay, you can go now. Oh, a brandy designer jumpsuit. <sighs> What's brandy? A brand. Like a brand. Like your Balmain shit. <laughs> Wait. Oops, sorry. But a jumpsuit. <laughs> oh, I for love gun- jumpsuits. You like jumpsuits? Yeah. yeah. Uh, for a girl, guy, whatever. For either. a guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those Dickies ones yeah. are pretty hot. Yes. I'm into them. Oh, she's yeah. into uniforms. Honey, give oh, it to me. She, give me the uniform. She wants a uniform. Okay, I how like about- my porn when they come through the door and it starts with like a service call. 
Yes. Have you guys seen those? So yes. you want scenario? You want the yes. tool belt? You want that, that big good. jackhammer? Totally. You do. The, 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 you want the vibrator? I like it. No, I don't want sex toys. I just no, want no, no, the, the jackhammer with the oh. you know, like you want the. He doesn't have to have that. He oh. could just be there to just wearing you know, a tool belt. The damsel in distress. Yeah. The air conditioning's broken. It's oh. hot. Summer hot. God, her OnlyFans page is gonna be popping, <laughs> popping off. like the steam, <laughs> the towel, the shower. The when we yeah, tool we can belt. live stream that. You mm -hmm. could totally do you this. I, I really think while he's, why don't you give him chores around the house for him to start doing videotape it, oh. put it online. He won't even know it. Oh, I thought I was sending my husband away out of town, and then I just invite somebody. Oh, That's we even better, that now. right? Yes, well, we could do that too. That's better. Oh my god. How about men wearing eyeliner? Is it out or not? I love a guy liner. Yeah, see? He used to wear it when he was in high school. He was such yeah. a rebel. Yeah. You yeah. should see pictures at his parents' house with his his uh cap and gown picture for I graduation. I, he has I, I eyeliner. Liner. Did you do surfing like in high school? Because you I were did. OC, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it was part of that the water. Love the water. Part of the love culture the of surfing. Yep. Had the long hair. Do you know that you could probably get eaten by a shark nowadays? I know. You should see the his picture from when he did Versace. Yeah, it was a Versace model. When he was the Versace, he had long hair. Long hair. One of our friends that we met what? later on wait, wait, in wait. life. Like during the Amber Valletta period? Mm -hmm. Back he in the 80s, the 1985 My Creative Colors campaign. Favorite. One of the first campaigns, Versace and I met. Can I tell you Versace wanted to sleep with him? Of course And he, he did. chose this designer over that. I said, the guy was dead well, before by I the met time you met me. Paul. <laughs> you, know. you weren't born yet. I wasn't born yet. And now he's no longer. Oh That's so God. tragic. Yeah. Pretty Men wearing cardigans. Love a cardigan. See. Do you? Yes. That's yes. a Mary. He loves wearing a cardigan. I'm like, take that grandpa like, oh, sweater it's off. So it's sexy. so ugly. It so is sexy. sexy. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. if you're not wearing anything else and you're, you know, schlonging all the way. That's fine. Of course. That's fine too. All right, baby. Oh, this is God, your I last one. I can't Shit. help it. You got I've one been, more before you I've been looking at the thing. Which one is it? Oh, my God. This one. <laughs> oh, men wearing their eyebrows microbladed. I hate that. <laughs> because she wanted to get microblading and I, I said I no. I do not like <clears throat> eyebrows being done. If it's done and I can tell, I am so distracted, I can't even focus Are on Are mine you. done and distracting? You have full eyebrows. Because they're not he has done. great eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, he has great eyebrows. But... People think that I get mine done. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't either. Yeah. Either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. crazy. They're just natural. Yeah, I don't Yours like too. it when people think you. What about a unibrow? Oh, I'd rather God, I'd no. rather see a unibrow than see someone that's got too much Botox in their forehead yep. and perfect brows. Like, get away from me with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You don't like superficial men. You want real. Yeah, I don't men. like the metro. Yeah, thing. metrosexual. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't think it. I like a rough neck. Okay. You ready to do some? Can I tell you that I'm looking at Armenian your... coffee cup reading? You got to tell our viewers with the red lipstick that on are the... listening what they're doing. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, everybody who woke up grandmother and stole their phone out of that box. Okay, I'm gonna start reading your coffee cup. Oh Jesus! Because I really want you to. You were nervous about drinking the Armenian coffee. Yeah. You guys drink this at yes. home? No, today at this hour. I was you'll worried. Stay, you're not going to stay up I'm all okay night. Now. No, you'll be fine. Well, I'm now okay. she can go home and give Tommy a blowjob. Oh, my I'm God. This so blowjob, I'm going to like videotape exactly. this one. Well, I'm going to tell we'll you. We'll text him ahead of time. Put her job are you guys, on. She's coming home. You guys are <laughs> editing this show, right? No okay. edits here. Okay, <laughs> so uh, so are you left-handed? Uh, yes, why? You are left-handed because oh you drank the coffee with your left hand. Okay, okay. So. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. The... <laughs> The side that you drank the coffee from, okay. have you ever had anybody read your coffee grind? Uh, I don't, it's been years if that has happened, but, but yes. Probably she's Persian, of course. Yeah. So what if she's Persian? Every Persian, Persian person has their coffee grind. Like I was a baby. Yeah, but you don't it's trust so with those long. other old lady bitches that they, they sit around and gossip. Of course, those hags no, I don't yeah. trust them. No, I'm the real deal here. The real I'm deal. I'm in Beverly Hills, uh, you know. Do you think anyone can get on Brighton or Dayton? Yeah, on <laughs> Dayton and, and talk about their streets. coffee grind. No, please, exactly. seriously. Okay, so. Okay, so I was left-handed. You're left-handed. Okay. And you drank from the left side of the cup, okay. which means the interior where you drank from is the inside of your home. The exterior becomes the opposite side of the cup, which is the exterior of your home. 
Okay. So now I'm going to describe to you the interior of what's going on inside your house. Oh my God. And what I see is something new being delivered to you. Okay. Something very big. Oh. It's a huge move. I don't know if you're staying in the same house or if you're moving into another house or you're building onto the house that you have or you're building something new. Okay. I don't know. But there's something really, really big happening inside your home. Okay. And there's a, yeah. it's a big mode of change. And it's not a personality change. It's not like adding people into your life. That's not what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a building. Mm -hmm. Like it's a huge block. Wow. That's just, it's almost like your house is getting a, are you going to be on Hollywood House Lift with Jeff? The, are you know, they redoing it? I'm, no, no. I mean, I swear I would tell you if I was allowed to, but I'm I'm not. So I can say I'm oh, not. Okay. Because it looks like you're either like it's almost like adding a second floor to your house, mm -hmm. making like there's something big. Like, Are this. you doing a remodel? That's very exciting. I I think it's because we're going to move into a bigger house. See? Oh, you are. There's a, because I'm telling you, there's something really, really big. So and I and feel like it's not not that it has to be bigger, right? But I just feel like that's ever since the show was allowed me to focus on something that really feeds my soul more. Mm -hmm. I've been feeling way more purposeful. Like if somebody took away something that you guys loved so much that you thrive from, right? Because you were doing something else. Ever since I started at the agency and got into the real estate, I was like, oh, that fire is back. So you love it beyond wow. well there's there's a big big move for you interesting and yeah. you are moving into then another building another structure you're keeping this one you're not selling this one because i see that this structure whatever it is is still kind of attached to you mm. somehow uh -huh. so for whatever reason you're still connected to this one structure okay while you're going into this other structure okay so that's great. Everything around it, though, is mm -hmm. so harmonious. It's almost like you're just it's like it's like walking into the dealership and you're like, I want that color. I want those tires. I want the mm -hmm. air conditioning, the heated seats, the massager and somebody to tickle my vagina while I need it. Yeah. Why not? It's almost like that's what you're asking for. <laughs> wow. And it's going to be delivered exactly in that same way. Amen. That's exactly what I see. Amen. On the outside of your house, there's one individual holding a candle to you. Oh. There's somebody who is either come into your life, he's been there for a while. It's a male? But yes. Okay. That you've never noticed, or, and it's an older person. Okay. A more mature person. Okay. And this mature person is helping you are navigating things with you. Okay. It's like this wise man sort of a thing. And he's holding a crown in the middle of, of his hand and kind of handing it to you. I don't know who this person is, but mm -hmm. he doesn't live with you. He's not inside your home. And the crown that he's giving you, it's almost as if you're not bowing down to receive it, but you know where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. And this is someone that's been around for a very, very long time. This is exciting. And what they're giving you is this, I don't want to say, it's not like money. It's not like um, material things, but it's like this confidence or this newfound uh, you or giving you the stamina to be able to challenge yourself yeah. in wow. different places that maybe you didn't before or it's actually something that they're <clears throat> giving you as a gift that they're letting you know i'm here i'm supporting it i've always known you can still do it and i want to extend that to you again if you can see me i can't explain because they're in like this and they have like a shadow behind them Mm -hmm. If you look over here, mm -hmm. I don't know if you could see it. Do you see the lengthy person right there? Yeah. Yes. And then do you see their arm coming out as they're holding? That's the male? The crown, the male. Okay. And then if you look, this is you right here receiving it. And you're very humbled by this that you're <clears> receiving. <throat> you didn't 
You didn't know you were going to be getting this. You didn't know it was going to be coming your way. You didn't know this was something that was even going to happen. I don't know if you were anticipating waiting for it, but that it's there, you're really humbled by receiving it. Mm -hmm. Above this person, the three tiers are goals or points that this individual has kind of mapped out for you. Okay. And by accepting this crown, it's allowing you to be able to go on the journey and go through the stages. Wow. And everything looks so vividly like clear and they're so um, effortless mm. because it's there. Yes. And all you have to do is just make yourself available and walk through it. Okay, amazing. I want you to take your thumb. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. I want you to put it at the bottom and do a twist. Oh, okay. Now, I got I got these long okay. nails, so hopefully that's I'll okay. reach. It was a little bit nail in there. That's okay. It looks like a bear. No. <laughs> what? That's another baby. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> that's, look at this. Look at it. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. It's Are like you guys trying to have another baby? It's like a no. womb. You're not? No. It's a womb. Because it's exactly... That would be crazy if we had another oh baby. Well, look God. at it. Do yeah. you see what it I looks see? Like it, yeah. Oh and God. it's almost like this gift, whether it's planned or unexpected. I mean, it could look like a Thanksgiving turkey, too, so I don't <laughs> know what to tell you. You know? But... I guess what it really means is Doesn't there's like something it. new that's going to be coming your way that you hadn't expected or anticipated. So there are certain things that you've planned for, mm -hmm. and there's a few things that you haven't planned for that you may end up welcoming into your life unexpectedly and didn't even know it was available to you. Wow. I th so first of all, I cannot articulate enough gratitude for this because when you very well understand being on the grind waking up showing up sure for instance the drive that you were talking about never in my life do i wake up at four or five o'clock in the morning and then i like prop myself up i go i open my computer i start writing my goals my right i do both yeah. Typing, writing, I like to see it. I like to do it by hand. Never in my life did I take a 6 a.m. workout class. I've been doing that for July will be a year. It's amazing. And then, yes, and then this real estate, I know that's my dad. I, oh. I, know, I know that's my dad. And the people that I'm working with at the agency yeah. are like, I have such gratitude because they're so good and it feels just like the last time that I was doing real estate so like full-time not you know yeah. not trying yeah. to juggle both yeah, yeah. yeah and it's like i just you know when when shaw's is on the air for all these years people think that i'm going to be upset and i really like to like explain to people mm -hmm. like you don't want to live inside a vacuum of like a, a, a tv show after a while you also think about you know, what is going to be more sustainable for your soul, right? For, sure. So like, if like you can see Mauricio doing what he does and you have respect for it, yep. you could see what like Kyle, his wife does, and you can have respect for that. But like at the end of the day, like Kyle has to be part of a soap opera right. that <laughs> sucks and it's toxic Pretty and it's much, painful. Yeah. 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 Her sister was torn apart. Her relationships with her. So like that's easy to see, but people look up to it because it's TV, right? right? But then like for me, it's the other side that I like where I have people choosing me because they are doing the most important thing, buying their home, negotiating. Yeah. You know, all of those things to me are way more valuable. And that's why I did it so long ago. When you talk about it, your eyes light up like yeah. you have this glow when you're talking Thank about you. being in this real estate thing. Yes. And always. it's kind of like 
owed to your dad. Like you, you started there, yes. and now you're back there again. Yes. What's and you're the, just what's the crown? It. What is it that you think he's giving you? So, or what have what what is what what comes to mind that when you know that? Because there's something uh -huh. that he's trying. I, I was at an event and somebody came up to me and said, "Your dad really wants." to you to eat that watermelon because he loves watermelon it's my favorite fruit okay so very random for this woman to say that to me because like yeah how it just comes up say? to you and goes oh mj <laughs> eat that watermelon yep. basically yeah oh, long story right. short she's like i don't want to freak you out but your dad is standing right here next to us and oh, wow and it's sheena's friend so you probably met her um her blonde girlfriend who's um i'm sorry i forgot her name shelby or her. no no um Oh my God, I know just, who you're talking about. Just yeah. go, something, we'll, we'll think of it. Um, <coughs> and he was like, and he wants you to get back into real estate. And I was like, fuck, I was so <laughs> irritated. I was like, I right now I have to do this, I have to do that. And right. it's very impossible, there's only so many hours. So then when I knew, like I am not a half-assed person, I'm gonna do something both feet in, fully committed. So. Ever since then, I would tell my, I would tell Tommy, I'd be like, you know, my dad told me, mm -hmm. he told me this two years ago. Now he passed four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. It was before. So Kalo. I know. Oh, I, I talk to him all the time. It's like I know yeah, that he's around. And the way that people show up for you, I know you're thinking about your mom, your sister. Of course. Right. Yeah. And um, the other day, our landscaper, oops, our landscaper took some of the vines down, and I was like. That was my family. Like he's like, I saw this little like hummingbird nest yeah. and I was so upset for like two weeks. And he was like, I'm so sorry because he didn't mean it. But I was like, the nature around us represents things. And it's it's as loud as a church bell. Right. Yeah. So I think what he's offering me is a piece of himself that represents our future represents wow. what he knows that I am meant to do. Like I know my dad would be like, look, you want to do that reality thing, mm -hmm. that TV thing? I get it. You know, that's you right. helped a lot of people. Kind of cute. Yeah. But you got to figure out how to do both. What's real life. Right. 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 Yeah. And you guys know you, there's only 24 hours in a day and it's never going to change. Right? right. So I'd be like, because like, like you said, like, oh, like with the wardrobe. Hey, I can't lean into being a TV star because I also have other things that I'm trying to do. Yep. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe you could have gone back and been like. <laughs> get that stylist take those photos right do all of those things knock it out of the park but you know that just wasn't me i was just like i'm just gonna do me mm -hmm. and someone at home is relating to it and i'm changing their life but i'm never gonna be that glamorous person that that vain side of me also wanted to do and if the show gets picked up greenlit then you're real then you already have me will be on the show that's true that's, that's very your life. True. Then you already have that's me. That's very true. I yeah. can create the looks for you. No problem. <laughs> yes, we're going to have to You go never have to have ruling. a bad look again. Never Ever. again. Uh, unless it's intentional and we want people to talk about uh -uh. it. That's right. The for girl sure that goes, we'll do it. Remember the ones that say they want to be worse dressed because they know if they, they show know they're up gonna, yes. worse dressed, yeah. they're going to make the magazines. Yeah. Yes. Hey. What's next for you? Where do you go from that, here? That big building, honey. Yeah. That big building. Is there something like that? Really? There I want to know that I'm that I saw what I saw and that it resonates with you. You it read 100% the cups. resonates. Yeah. I held my tears back and I don't know if the camera caught it, but I saw I you tearing up, but I wasn't myself. sure what it was for. I thought maybe I was saying the wrong thing. I was trying to just keep it together, honey. <laughs> for oh, yeah. For what? <laughs> Tell me. I don't know. Persian pride. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, you smell good. Oh, thank you, Bulgari. Yeah. Well, on that note, yes. you've just See? been on that note. Oh, to, and, you've oh, just been oh, no. To, See? Yes. On that note, you've just been undressed with Paul and Patrick. I love it. I love it. Who loves, who loves better Patrick. they can undress you, right? Yes. And um, just people find, find you on what's your Instagram? It's always Mercedes Javid. Okay. And the, it's Till the Dirt with. Tommy and MJ. Tommy and MJ. And it come, new apps come out when? Every Monday. And on that <laughs> note, thank you for coming in. You've been an amazing guest, beautiful friend. Thank and you. we thank you for being a guest. Thanks for having me. You've been undressed. <laughs> <laughs>
Now let's go put on a gown. (laughs) Bye, bitches. Before you go, make sure you rate, review, and subscribe. Tell your mother, your brother, your sister, anybody, everybody. Don't forget the dead ants. The dead ants, too. Yes. (laughs) Rate, review, subscribe, and we'll see you soon with our next guest. This podcast is brought to you by Vocal Podcast Network. Executive producers are Michaela Simon, Paula Tu, and Patrick Simpson. Produced by Ariana Giles and Morgan McDonald. Shooting and editing by Morgan McDonald. Music by Digital Camel. Artwork by Dominique Demet. And hosted by Paul Atu and Patrick Simpson. And Little Snow White 90210. Remember to follow Paul at Paul Atu, Patrick at Patrick Simpson, Snow White at Snow White 90210, and Vocal Podcast Network at Vocal Podcast. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode. 